Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am TP West bringing you another redstone video. Today, what I have for you is my design for my 64 furnace super smelter. As you can see, there are 64 furnaces in this system, 32 on either side, and all of them are perfectly visible. That way, you can easily see your items smelting up. And then up here, we have a shulker box unloader because this is a shulker box based design. And down here, we have a shulker box loader so that all your finished items can be neatly packed into shulker boxes. And over here, we have another shulker box unloader to refill the fuel. Uh, the fuel I'm using right now is scaffolding, but you can use any type of fuel that smelts at least two items. So scaffolding smelts two items per scaffolding. You can also use coal, charcoal, uh, blaze rods, dried kelp blocks, any of the sort. Now I know what you're asking. TP West, what if I want to use a type of fuel that smelts less than two items, like bamboo for example? Or what if I don't want to use shulker boxes in my system? What do I do? Well, don't worry because over here we have two variations of the design that will deal with those two situations. But first, let me show you how to use this system. For example, I need to smelt up two shulker boxes full of sand. I also need to bring two extra shulker boxes with me. You come down here to the bottom level, place your empty shulker boxes in the top chest, turn on the system, and now one shulker box should be dispensed in there, and if it's noisy, it means it's working. So you head up to the next level. I just use the bubble elevator, but you could just place some stairs or a ladder here if you want to. Uh, place your shulker boxes of sand in this chest over here. And it'll start automatically emptying that shulker box. And once that piston fires, you can press this button. And it'll start the entire system up. Just like that. Of course, one by one, the furnaces will light up. And here's the most satisfying part. If you take a look at this. Immediately, you didn't even see it. The item, the glass item, got collected by the bottom hopper minecart. And a new sand was placed in its place. And now all that's left to do is to wait for it to finish smelting. Two shulker boxes takes around 9 minutes for it to finish smelting, so see you guys in 9 minutes. 9 minutes later and all of the furnaces have gone out, we can go back here and collect our empty shulker boxes. These used to contain our sand. Go down here, turn this off, and collect our two shulker boxes full of glass as you can see so yeah that's really simple to use so now let me show you how to build it one quick note before the tutorial i'll also show you how to modify the design for these two variations over here and i'll leave timestamps in the description below now let's get started so to start off you'll need a pretty large area i already marked out where i'm gonna start we're gonna start with the two rows of furnaces and we're gonna place them eight blocks above the ground level so this is one two three four five six seven eight now place a furnace here then place 31 more furnaces beside it because each side is gonna have 32 furnaces so two three four five six six no six seven thirty one thirty two furnaces and then we're gonna build the next row four blocks away from those furnaces so right there and just place them in line with these furnaces over here. So now you should have two lines of 32 furnaces. We can get some hoppers and start doing some hopper placement. Place a hopper behind and on top of every single furnace. Once you're finished, it should look something like this. And we can destroy these temporary blocks over here. And we can start building up the rail lines. Starting with the output rail line. Go two blocks down and one block there from the first furnace. Then go one block up, then continue on with these blocks until you reach the very end. There, once you reach the end, just go one block past the last furnace, then connect it to the other side. Then go down this line as well, all the way to the end. And once you reach the end, go past two blocks, then this way one block, up another block, another then go down another block and we won't connect these yet because we're gonna place something here later on for now you can lay down the rails on top of these blocks all the way around 
So now all of the blocks you've just placed should have powered rails on top of them, except for the corners, which should only have normal rails. And we can do the same thing for the fuel line. Go out three blocks, and then connect it to the other side, like so. And then here, on this side, only go out two blocks, then connect it to the other side, like that. You could go ahead and put more rails on top of it and connect it all the way around. So we basically just circled the rails all the way around again, except for this corner. The same corner where we left the gap underneath, we're going to build up one block this way, temporarily remove that, place a normal rail here and here, and then place that rail back, and then we can remove this rail over here. So we're creating an incline out of this normal rail over here. So now we could build up the input rail line. Just place two blocks over here. Go one block this way. Two blocks up. One block down. Then another block down. Connect to these hoppers over here. And here on the other side, just connect the two sides together. Like that. And then... For this side over here, we're going to have a different rail layout. Just place a normal rail over here, a powered rail here, a detector rail here, another powered rail up here, and then this one's also a powered rail. And then we're going to place a powered rail over here, go up one block like this, detector rail over here, and a temporary rail over here, which we can remove. And then everything else is pretty much the same. Just circle around with rails once again. Now when something like this happens, when you accidentally mess up the order of your rails, it's pretty easy to fix. In this case, we just need to place a temporary rail back here, another one here, and then just replace this like that. And then we can remove those again, and it's all fixed. Next, pretty straightforward, we just need to power all of the powered rails. The easiest way to do this is using redstone blocks and levers. Starting with the redstone blocks, let's go over to this side and place one around here. And then on the other side, another one here. And then somewhere in the middle, let's just place another one, like so. And then copy those redstone blocks on the other side. Like this and then underneath those redstone blocks down here in this line place a lever and then power it on and then do that for all of the redstone blocks even on the other side and then we can do that for this side as well another redstone block and another lever and then as for this side we need to power these powered rails over here. So let's just place a redstone block here. These two also need to be powered. So just place a lever here. And then this one also needs to be powered. So let's just place another lever over here. And now all of the powered rails are now powered. So now for the fun part, building up the actual redstone, we'll start with the input line by placing a block over here beside this detector rail, placing a repeater on top of it, facing into another block and on top of that block place a sticky piston and an observer in front of it uh, let's place two more blocks over here beside this block place a comparator on top of it and then another comparator facing into that comparator set this comparator to subtract mode and place a cauldron over here and fill that all the way with water like that place a block over here and another block over here and place some redstone dust on top of this block place a piston on top of this block a sticky piston place a block in front of it and over here on top of this block place another block and on top of this detector rail too and get a repeater set on two ticks and over here in front of this block place a trap door and when you open this trap door make sure that it's covering the face of this block so you can just test it out with a redstone block Next, we need to align a hopper minecart first by removing this block over here and placing a block here. The hopper minecart needs to be aligned between these two blocks over here 
And the way we do that is by placing an activator rail here and an iron bar over here. Place a hopper mine cart here and push it right up against that iron bar. And now it's in the middle of the two blocks. Remove that iron bar because we need to lodge a block into half of this hopper minecart. And the way we do that is by placing a block on top of it and then placing a downwards facing piston like here and activating that piston. And now a block is lodged inside of it. If you're a bit lazy like me sometimes, you could just place a sand block here and it'll just fall into place. Place a torch here. And now we can continue on building the rest of the shulker box unloader. Grab a block and place it right next to this activator rail over here and place a comparator on top. And then another block over here with a torch right there. Go down two blocks and another block over here and place some redstone dust on top of this block and a repeater over here. Now grab another block and place it on top of this comparator and another comparator over here. Get an observer, place it on top of this redstone torch, another one on top of this comparator. Place a block here and here, and then another observer facing downwards like this. Place some redstone dust on top of this block, and a repeater on top of this observer set to 3 ticks. And then let's go over to the other side, grab a dropper, and place it right next to that torch facing this way. And in front of it, place a hopper facing into that dropper, and then over here, place a block and another comparator over here. And over here, we can go ahead and grab a piston, like so, and place it right next to that comparator facing this way. Grab your dispenser and place it right next to this block over here. And now we can grab some hoppers and place one here and a chest, chest, on top of that hopper, like so. We can place another chest over here, like that, and another hopper facing into that chest. And then we can go ahead and grab a slab and place it on top of this hopper over here. And that right there is your shulker box unloader for the input system. Almost forgot, don't forget to put one junk item into this dropper over here, and down here, this block over here should be a transparent block, so a slab or glass. And just replace the redstone dust. And yeah, that's good to go. Before we start on the redstone for the fuel line, you need to pre-fill each furnace with a stack of fuel. So now all of the furnaces should have 64 fuel items in their inventory. And now for your fuel line, starting with this first hopper over here, just place one block down and a comparator on top of that. Then another block over here. Then place a powered rail or an activator rail on top of that. Then an observer facing this way. Beside that, another block. And a sticky piston over here. Now place two more blocks, one here and one here. And then over at this side, just place a chest for your fuel. And then we'll connect this to another shulker box unloader. Now a quick disclaimer, this shulker box unloader was not designed by me. I think I first saw it in an El Mango video once, so I'll link to that in the description. Just place a hopper here and here, and then place a double chest over here, and place another hopper facing into that double chest. On top of that hopper, place a comparator, and over here, place a piston. On top of that, place a note block and a dispenser facing downwards, like so. Grab a block, place it over here, and another one on top, with two rails, like so. Place an observer over here. And grab two hoppers, this and that, another observer over here, with a block over here. And now, you can place a double chest over here, and fill that with a bunch of shulker boxes filled with fuel. And let's grab a torch, torch, and place it over here. Now start the system up, it'll start loading with scaffolding in this case, and we can place a minecart hopper down here. And that minecart hopper will start filling with fuel. Let's just let it fill for a while. It's been a few minutes and this minecart hopper has filled up with fuel. So now we can let it run once. And place the block again so that it stops. And let it come back. Come back. Like that. Now we're going to finish the rail line down here. 
Just place 4 temporary blocks over here and hoppers underneath those. And these hoppers all need to be pointing downwards. Remove these blocks and temporarily remove this too. And place a rail there and another iron bar here. We're going to do some more hopper minecart alignment. Place a hopper minecart here and push it up against that iron bar. Remove that iron bar and this rail and place two more iron bars here and here. Place a piston over here like so and power that sticky pist that piston. Remove the piston then remove the redstone block and then remove those iron bars over there. Now you can do the piston trick again or if you don't want to you could always just use the sand to cover the hopper minecart like that. Place the powered rail back, another powered rail here and build one block up here. Grab a normal rail and place them like this. Another power rail over here. Then you can remove this rail over here and place a block there. Now you need to power that power rail by placing a lever over here. Let's come back up here and do some more redstone. Right next to the the rail over here. Go one block down. Another block over here. And place two redstone repeaters on top of those blocks. Both set on four ticks. Go one block up and one block down and place a redstone dust on top of this block over here. Place another repeater down here, set on one tick. Beside that repeater, we'll place a sticky piston with an observer in front of it. Over here next to the furnace, we'll place another block, and underneath that, a fence gate perpendicular with the direction of the rails. And that's the entire output system done. We just need to place some hopper minecarts right here, one here, and one here. Next, we'll come down here and build up our shulker box loader. It's a quad speed shulker box loader so that it can handle all of the items that go through the system. Underneath these two hoppers over here, just place down one dropper here and another dropper here. And one more dropper over there. Then we'll get a dispenser and place it right there. And two more blocks over here. Then get a dropper, place it upwards. Then a hopper on top of that dropper. Then a comparator over here. Then place blocks like so and two redstone dusts over there. Then grab two observers and place them like this and a block over here. Then here on the other side, just place a sticky piston beside this hopper over here and an observer facing this way and another one facing that way. Then we'll come over here and get some chests and place one chest over here and another chest up here. Then let's grab some hoppers, place one hopper there, another hopper pointing into that chest, and another hopper pointing into that hopper. Then a comparator on top of this hopper, and redstone dust on top of this hopper. Then a block over there, and a sticky piston on top of this block. Then let's grab a fence, a fence gate, and place that fence gate in front of this sticky piston. Then open that fence gate, and grab some more hoppers, Place two hoppers facing into these two droppers over here. Then let's go over here and get a torch. A redstone torch over here. And a lever over here to turn on and off the system. Like so. Then over here, just place a redstone block. I forgot one more thing. Inside this dropper over here, just place one junk item inside similar to what we did at the top. Okay, we're almost done. We just gotta do two more things. One is connect the button that'll launch the hopper minecarts for the first time. Then second is to place the actual minecarts themselves. So first, beside this hopper over here, just place a block. And behind that, place a sticky piston over here and a slime block in front of it. Then down here, just place an observer. Then place your button over here. Now when we go down here, we gotta place two hopper minecarts on this rail. And make sure when you place your two hopper minecarts, you don't place them like this. Because if you do that, then any item we place in this hopper minecart will automatically go to the next hopper minecart, which we don't want. Instead, what you gotta do is place them on this rail and allow them to naturally go to the next rail. So like that and like this. Then over to this hopper minecart, just get five items and place one item on each slot except for the first slot, but two items here on the second slot. And do the same for this hopper minecart. And now you're pretty much done.
And once you're done building the smelter, you can decorate it however you want. As you can see, I just built a floor up here and some stairs that lead down into the furnaces, but let's face it, you can probably build better than I can. So make it look pretty. So now let me show you the two variations of the design. First, the no shulker box version. So up here, both of our shulker box unloaders have gone and have been replaced by simple double chests. Over here in our fuel line, we still have the double chest before, but instead of linking it up to a shulker box unloader, it just links up to more double chests up here. And this is our input line. We just lodge this hopper minecart into this block and place a double chest on top of it. And down here, instead of connecting these four hoppers to our shulker box loader, we just connect them all to this chest down here. Next, we have this water stream version. This is ideal for fuel sources such as bamboo, or in this case, carpet. Over here, we have three carpet dupers. You don't need to use carpet dupers if you don't want to, or if your server doesn't allow them. This is just for demonstration purposes. You can always connect this to your bamboo farm or your Zyrtec bamboo farm if you're playing before 1.16. These carpet dupers were designed by Eagle Eye 621 so I'll have a link to this video in the description. If we turn this on, it'll start duping carpet, as you can see. And that carpet will make its way all the way around the water streams. And any excess will just get destroyed by this cactus over here. Like that. So to build up the water streams, just start with the water log chest over here, one block before the first hopper, and divide each water stream using trap doors. And beside all of the hoppers, just place ice blocks, and on top of them, place glass panes. The water will change direction over here, and we'll align the items again using this anvil over here. And just do the same thing on this side and place a cactus at the very end to destroy all of the excess items. And those are the two variations for my 64 Furnace Super Smelter. You can of course mix and match the features as much as you like. That's all I got for this video. Thank you guys for watching and... What? Oh, this thing behind me? Oh, it's just a 200 Furnace Super Smelter, no big deal. But I might decide to show it to you guys one day. So if you want to see that video, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know exactly when it comes out. Once again, this has been TP West. Thanks for watching.